So here we are, and uh, back at the view of the spot, I just wanted to lift up this canvas best I can. Give you an idea of the height of the lake. It is really uh, windswept here on the property. I'd like to be able to walk up and down here so we can run the It's really uh, spectacular. All the people live. It's Okay, so now I'm not going to put it on pause. I tried that before and everything went wrong, so I'm just going to try to get my camera back in action straight all, straight all way. And uh, lift this up. Now, we've been talking about the Hilton's basic analysis that was in the last shear. I'm doing multiple shearing when I can, putting them out as best I can. Uh, and we got to this, this place right here, number, and this is the words of Rabbi Chaim Vital. He says, Re'isi Lamorizal, I saw that my master, my teacher, the, the Rebbe, Rebbe uh, or the Rav, I saw that he wasn't amongst the first. He wasn't his custom to come and be amongst the first. A little rock and roll on the table here, but what can I do? So he says, go on, let's go to the Omar. And he says, like, this, the Omar is, and he told me the reason. Holani. He was a person who was not, not feel well in the morning. I'm not sure what that means exactly. But basically, they had to wait in his house in order to be uh, able to uh, go to the bathroom. There's another reason. After that, he, was, he said that he would always put on his talis and tefillin in his house before coming to the synagogue. And then he would come crowned, mu'utif and wrapped, batalis in his talis with the fill in the basic anesis as he went in to the basic anesis. So he had to do this in the daytime. Keep a Lila loves him on fillin because at nighttime it's not time to fill him. So therefore he did it in the day. So I'm not sure exactly what he means. Did he mean to say that he wore the tefillin all the right day, day long, or does it mean to say that? Just in the minog is, is that in Shachos, that's what he did. I don't know. Then the other ten would come to the basic Knesset. They would come, right, you know, before uh, Nets. They would get together before Nets. So therefore he wasn't able to do this because of his, I don't know if it's because we're calling it an illness or we're calling it the Sea of the Tev as another word. Uh, the Sibas Elu for these reasons. So let's look at the Tiv and we go down to number Yud, which is down here. So let's look at this Tiv, only Tiv. Number Ches. So where to wait? Wrong place. We're going to start over here. Uh, so he says, number number Vav. Vihine, Hagam Shazohi Mitzvah, the Hios Mesar Bishonim. Even though we understand that this is a mitzvah to be for one of the first tens to be for basic analysis. He calls that with all of this anyway, it wasn't his custom to be amongst the first ten, but to feel the shackles. So if a Rizal, so the Rizal said like this, Gilo, the Marhu, he revealed to the Marhu, Shnei Tamim, if name Ma, ain't a Noeg, the Hios, Masar Rishonim. He gave him two reasons why he's not amongst the first ten. <clears throat> he said, Tom Rishon, the first reason, re, re, uh, reason, so what's Cholani? Lashon Chayla, being a Chayla. So of Ohoyet Sark the Shachah Bebeso, and he had to wait in his house. Because they lean close his Atma in order to go to the bathroom to wait till he had the urge. But I see a Tzarcho didn't did what he had to do. Because the Chayla Ohoyet Sipek Biyadu didn't have enough time. The Chiyos Masar Rishon to be there early because he was weak. I think it was he had certain kind of weakness in this world. But Tam Shani Shah Rizal Lo Kaima Mitzvah, Mitzvah the Gios Bazar Rishonim. And the second reason why the Uri was not Mekaim that Mitzvah, whom Mishum Shah Rizal Savar Shiyesh the Hisate for Talis, because it was thought that he had to put, wrap himself in the Talib on the Ichtafil and put on his Tafil. Oh, be he also a still while he's in his house. But let's say it's been advised and go out of the house because you Huma Utter when he's crowned with Talis, the Tafil and all of this ornament. Of, of praise of Hashem, 
It's a higher level. This is what the Rav said to Rabbi Chaim Fidal. Rabbi Chaim Fidal. He said it's more important than being amongst the first ten. But since it has to be done during the daytime, now the concept of the, of the first ten to come to the basic necessity, they used to come to the basic necessity while it's still dark at time, dark at night. In came Lo Yahu, Hoyo the Kaima Mitzvah, the Hiyos Masar Rushan, and the Basic Adesis, so that they came so early and he was not prepared, and he couldn't put all this together. He could not be amongst the first ten because they came even before Nates, they were there early. Yachadim a Mitzvah, the Ativus Talib, and Nachas, the Philip, the Basic, because that's the way he said was the proper way to come to the Basic Adesis. But Kevin Shema'ala Gadoy, the Yosirhi, so this is a much greater Ma'ala. It says the basic of Shuhu Ma'uta Batala but the fellow to go out of his house while the person is crowned in the talis of the fellow. The Fihach Nishar Babeso Bodokaya mitzvah, so therefore he stayed in his house to fulfill the mitzvah of being the uh, uh, so he'd say in his house, mitzvah zoo, the Hyos Basar and it be considering it to be more important, m uh the Hyos m m uh Sar Rishina Babesika Ness is a little misprint on this word. Should have been off there. Sorry, and I am, excuse me, over there. Okay.